According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The fleet doesn't follow the rules. 
Agree to work for UC Sysdev. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs, from engines to shields to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. wondering just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you.
Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find.